How y'all doing out there, world? This is your boy, Sneaker Blue, coming at you with another episode of Sneaker Therapy, bringing you the Jordan 29 Lou on today's episode. Um, this is a shoe that I was looking forward to uh, purchasing when I seen the images. I'm a big fan of the Jordan 29 Lou, or well, Jordan 29 period. But uh, a lot of folks don't necessarily care for them casually, but they like the performance aspect of the shoe. Um, I like them casually and performance wise. Um, to me, it's a top one or two, uh, top two uh, shoe. It comes down to comfort and just feeling natural on your foot. So um, I was excited to see um, how these lows are feel, which I'm pretty sure I was pretty sure that it'll feel pretty much the same, just with a low cut. But uh, you know, sometimes they have stripped the lows down with some of the tech. But with these, they pretty much kept all the tech in the shoe and just cut it. You know, uh, just made them a low. So I was happy to find that out when I was able to try on a pair and um, went on ahead and bought them. But uh, I think overall, the actual shoe is a good look. I think you can wear it on the court and off the court. Um, but some folks, like I say, if it's not a retro, a Jordan retro, they pretty much did not, uh, you know, too into the shoe. Um, they just want retro J's, which to each his own. I'm not knocking them, but... Um, I like all shoes, uh, performance shoes, uh, retros, different brands, what have you. So I don't stay in one lane, but um, this is going to review the shoe. You got your uh, woven upper, your fly weave on the uh, upper. On your shoe strings, you have your, uh, your oval laces. You have your mesh tongue with your infrared jump man on the uh, tongue. You have on the side, you have your cement print. On the back, you have a leather uh, two, and you have a leather three on the back with this uh, strip right here that's covering it. I don't know what the material is, but it's, I see, be honest with you, cheap, but, um, you know, I think they should have just went on ahead and just left that off and just should have uh, did a seamless stitching or something where the leather was at, but, you know, I guess the designer uh, ran out of ideas, um, but it's still a clean looking shoe. On the bottom you have your uh, white outsole and you have your flight plate right here. Um, you have your hit, your hit of infrared on the bottom. You have your unlocked air zoom and the forefoot, um, which is comfortable. Um, still not as comfortable as the 28, but um, it's still pretty comfortable. It's not for all the 28 kind of uh, like rose, you know, raised up out of the sole a little bit. But um, on the 29s, I think they decided to make it uh, even, uh, leveled it off a little bit because a lot of the uh, uh, the Zoom Air bags is popping in them. So they decided just to do it this way, but it's still comfortable. In the back, you have your kind of cord out. It's kind of cool down the back, but it's nothing but, uh, what's the word um, I'm looking for? In the back area, they have pretty much just foam in the back, your foam cushion in the back. So, um, it's still very comfortable though, but, uh, I get on the 28th, they had the zoom bag in the back, but I guess on the 29th, they decided not to do that. But for the most part, that's about it with the shoe. Like I say, um, I was excited about this release. It was a, to me, it's a pretty uh, clean shoe. And like I said, you can rock it on and off the court. And um, I got a whole lot more videos coming for y'all lately. I know I've been slipping on the videos. Um, I got a lot of uh, shoes that I'm backed up on that I'm gonna be hitting y'all with, you know, randomly. Um, I'm gonna try to, you know, get probably I guess my most recent releases out the way and kind of like uh, go back to some of my other purchases, what have you. But again, on this show, I'm not gonna pretty much just do new releases. I'm gonna grab some random shoes out of my inventory and my my, my collection and uh, just do reviews on them. So again, um, rate, subscribe, um, if you critique, um, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the video, you don't like it. And um, just give me some comments at the bottom. Just be respectful, that's all I ask. And um, again, this is another episode of Sneaker Therapy. This is Boss Nigga Blue, and I'm out.